everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivory Spice back at it again with another match reaction guys. And remember guys, if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button and also remember to share because why? Sharing Ivory Spice is caring. Boom! And today guys, it's England nil, Scotland nil, England collecting a point in the second game of the Euros 2020. Still work to do for England. Ah, drawing against those scumbags, those Scottish, ah, your rivals, our rivals, you know, guys. Drawing against our rivals. Neil not, not scoring a goal today at Wembley. On a Friday night, you know, guys, on a Friday night, and I'm feeling all right. The party was supposed to be at Wembley, but it wasn't tonight, yeah, 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 yeah. Cause it was bloody raining Guys, it was bloody raining today Which meant that raw raining Friday night England vs Scotland is supposed to go down But it did not go down Not at all Not at all We thought today was going to be some brave hard shit But it was not They were not about taking their freedom back Of course, no swords being held in the air today but unfortunately, guys, it is what it is. England doing what they had to do during, during, but it's not the best results, guys. But we can live with it. It just means that there's plenty of work for England to do in the next game, especially against the Czech Republics. We definitely need to win this game or draw for England to secure their position into the next round of Euros 2020. And let's go straight into the game, guys. Because of course, the first half, England, Controlling the game, really, really controlling the game. Nothing much apart from John Stones hitting the post with a header, which I thought, oh, we should have scored. John Stone was clear off with the opportunity to score a header from a corner. Apart from that, in that first half, a bit of trouble from Scotland. Scotland as well having a bit a few chances, but England not in Rory at all. Always in control of the game. Ended up half time, nil nil. Second off, the same shit again, guys. Of course, if you was thinking that something was gonna happen in the second off, you are wrong. England starting the game off a bit shit. And then things started flashing into me. I started seeing what I've always spoken about when it comes to England and their way of playing football. Manchester United, yes, there is no thing different from watching Manchester United, guys and watching England, you know. It is freestyle most of the times. And when I look at the touchline, I'm like, is that, is that, is that Oli? Because this match, this England play just like Manchester United, is that Oli? Is that Oli with a waistcoat? Because Gary Southgate to me is just Oli Gunnar Solskjaer in a waistcoat. Matter of fact, you might as well call him Oli Gunnar Southgate, Gareth Solskjaer, whichever one. It is the same thing, guys. It is the same thing. And with Grealish coming on and Rashford coming on, which I thought Phil Foden played shit and also Harry Kane played shit, for them to come on, I thought to myself, hmm, this is what we are missing. The mistake was with Gareth Southgate, again, sorry, Gareth Solskjaer, is the fact that he brought on Rashford and Rashford to play up front when you could have brought on someone like Calvin Lewin. But mainly, I thought that you should be bringing on Jaden Sancho. Jaden Sancho should be playing. We need creativity. There's a player with goals and assists to his name. Plenty of goals, plenty of assists. What you need on the wing. Because Foden, for all this hype, has been poor in the first two games. He should have brought him on, not Rashford. But it is what it is. Grealish deserves to come on because we need that creativity, that level of creativity. But unfortunately, it fell for England. And it was like that. With the game ending nil-nil, nothing. Ball draw, scoreless draw. England collecting that points. I'm just happy that we've got four points. It's about collecting points and going through to the knockout stages. Then that's when you can really turn things on, turn the spark on. Man of the match today, guys has to go to Mason Mount today, for my opinion, as he was the brightest spark out of everyone else, you know, pinging some delicious balls in. He's the only one that looked really bright to me. Donkey of the match, guys, has to go to Harry Kane, Harry Ross, Clark Kane. Poor again, it could have easily went to Phil Foden as well, because I thought he was poor, but Harry Kane overall had a back-to-back -back having poor games. 
He hasn't got the party started. I really don't think he has, you know. Just Roman Lukaku has got the party, sorry. But Harry Kane himself hasn't. My three lines, guys, it is what it is. Be happy with the point. And let's just think about moving things forward. You know, we've still got Czech Republic to play. We draw, we go through, we advance to knockout stages. We win, we advance in the knockout stages. It's about collecting these points. We've won our first game, we drew our second game. I know we wanted that win against the Scotland. I know we wanted to win against Squash, but it wasn't possible. Not today. Not today. Next time. Well, guys, that has been your match reaction by Ivorian Spice. Of course, guys, if you're new to this channel, of course, and if you're new and you're seeing me for the first time, remember to smash that like button and also remember to share. As always, remember to follow the official Instagram account of Reginite TV, which is Reginite TV One, baby. And also remember to follow the official TikTok account which is United TV and also my personal Instagram account, which is I've on the school spice across the Twitter and also the Snapchat. And then again, remember to subscribe, slash that like button and remember to share. And for my ladies, as always, remember to share to your ex-boyfriend and also remember to share the link to your current boyfriend. Also remember to share the link to that guy that always buys you food at work and tries it because he thinks he can get some but he knows he will never ever get some and you know it too and you know why you're chopping his money and chopping that lunch you're thinking he ain't getting shit also remember to share the link to that guy in the chicken shop that always gives you a free hot wing even though you don't order chicken and chips you probably order burgers or a, or a wrap, but he's still flinging that chicken wing, hoping to get your number, ask for it, but you've happened to give him a snatch up, and he's happy with that. And also remember to share the link to your dad's friend that's been looking at you up and down, now that you got all of this and all of that, telling you, my oh my, you have grown and looking mm, lustfully. And when they ask you, what is this? Tell them you found a man that does it way better than you. And that's Ivor and Spice, guys. Till next time, Peace, love, and remember Sunday, my Manchester United weekly bulletin will be out 12 p.m. Peace out.